Part 10, B. You will need to put on your hat of patience for this next session. Again, this will be a bit more complicated than Part A, but hopefully provoking for Hebrew and Aramaic study. That is my goal. Get out your scuba gear as we are going deep diving. Here we go. Here's a few words that have an added lament to them. Strong's 216, Laor. This word is taken from Habakkuk 3.11, and they've translated it as light. However, the root of this word, which is olive, vav, resh, it means illumination. They added the lamed. We have already seen what this letter symbol means, the lamed, through the unified letters that create the symbol lamed, which means the teachers of the mother and father templates who will goad and urge you that are the door of the revelation that will deliver you. Simply put, this word, Laor, would mean teachers of illumination. Breaking down this word Laor a little further, we see that the teachers of the mother and father templates who will goad and urge you, they are the door of the revelation that will deliver you. They are those who have been yoked, they have tamed the beast, have been taught, and so they teach. They have the thousandfold anointing as the family you should associate with, and they are connected to the poor and the destitute, which are the children, in order to raise them up to be the first fruit leaders. You may need to pause this video here to meditate on the fullness of this word, Laor. I apologize for the amount of words on the screen for those of you who can be overstimulated with too much information. I do have one more word here that I wanted to go over, which is Legebur. Legebur is Strong's 1397, and we will be looking at that in the next slide. Le Gibur, Strong's 1397. This is coming from Job 323, which says, Why is light given to a man whose way is hidden and who God has hedged in? The word Le Gibur, translated as a man, is from the root of Geber, which means simply a man, valiant, and warrior. This is the root and heart essence of the creator of this word. So the translators chose to place why is light given in the text when all that had been added to Geber was the Lamed. So light is related to the man who is a teacher, the teacher of light, Laor. Crossing out what was added for grammatical purposes, the scripture now reads, to a man whose way is hidden and who God has hedged in. This now is not a question, but rather a statement. The original scriptures did not have punctuation. Who is hidden and hedged in? Simply a man who is a valiant warrior, a teacher of light, Laor, of the unified letters Lamed Mem Dalit, teachers of mother and father templates who will goad and urge you as the doors of revelation of the covenant that will deliver you. Why did I tie Legeber and Laor together? Because when a lamed is added onto a word, it is an ongoing description of the lamed, the teacher. So in practical application, every time I see an added lamed, then I pay close attention to it, as I now know that this word, with its root meaning, 
is giving to the reader the job description of a teacher of light. The only exception is when a lamed is removed. One word in particular, lakach, many times has the lamed removed. The simple definition of lakach means to take. So this would mean that the teacher of light is to give and not take. Back to the word legeber, there is a little more here that is worthy of mention. We're going to examine the root geber from the suitcase of the unified letters of Gimel Bet Resh. Gimel. This is the gathering of the strong leaders whose feet walk to the water, the mayim the living water that contains the teachings of the mother and the father templates who will be lifted up. Beit, those who have spiritually built their house and temple through covenant. Resh, Resh are the leaders who were once poor and destitute, the children, who have been raised up as the first fruits. Revelation 14.4, redeemed from men being first fruits to God. So who is hidden and hedged in? Simply a man who is valiant and a warrior, a teacher of light, Leor, of the mother and father templates, who will goad and urge you as the doors of revelation of the covenant that will deliver you. This is the gathering of the strong leaders whose feet walk to the water, to the Mayim, the living water that contains the teachings of mother and father templates who will be lifted up. Those who have spiritually built their house and temple through covenant, leaders who were once poor and destitute as the children who have been raised up as the first fruits. Now establishing what an added lamed means to the prefix of the word, let's get back to le teobutha. The interpretation of this, breaking it all down, means those who bear light, as Jesus, Yeshua, Isa, that are Melchizedek doors that have revelation of that which will deliver you. They have been marked with the sign of the covenant as one who has spiritually built their house, temple. After achieving meekness within their heart and root, they've also been empowered within, meaning given power, means, and direction. At a later time than this writing, which is actually now, after possessing meekness and becoming the Father's teaching, they will be marked with his covenant and are sealed as the thousandfold family which have tamed and tamed the beast and have been yoked. They were taught and now teach and you should associate with them. They are the strong authority who has been given the mouth to speak. Revelation. This word teibutha in Aramaic which has been broken down to its constituent vibrational pieces and shared with you here, has been translated as repentance. That's why I say that scripture has been written in shorthand. So Teobutha is the Aramaic word for repentance, which is through the Father's teaching. But we do have a Hebrew word for repentance, through the mother's teaching, which is Teshuvah. I apologize, I did put the cart before the horse, horse here. We always need to go through mother first. But before we get to Teshuvah, I am going to give your brain a break. There comes a time when it just gets to be too much. I don't want it to be too much of a good thing. So, shalom, shalom.